This morning's paper two higher level maths, uh, like paper one on Friday, will be seen as being very fair and reasonable by most students. Undoubtedly, the, the highlight, um, the headline from this morning's paper will be that students could have answered the required number of questions without going anywhere near probability and statistics. Um, and this will have been of great relief to many students for whom these topics were not very, very popular at all. And this is particularly true for students who covered these topics near to the end of the school year and weren't that familiar with them. It's not to say that there were no tricky parts in the exam at all. There were a few, but by making um, a judicious choice of question, you could avoid those tricky parts. And I think it's fair to say that most students would have been able to pick out the required number of questions where they could have made a very, very reasonable attempt at, at, at most, if not all, of the parts of the question. So it'll be seen as being welcome and fair by most people. Section A, where students had to do four questions out of six, had the usual mix. There were two questions on coordinate geometry, one question on trigonometry, one question on errors and volume slash arithmetic, one question on synthetic geometry, geometry proofs and, and cuts, and one question on probability. And as I said earlier, you didn't have to do that probability question. The two coordinate geometry questions were lovely. The trig question contained a learned proof and a trig equations, um, and many students would have chosen that one as well. Um, section B had four questions of which students had to do two. Uh, two of the four were on trig, and again, students who just wanted to do trigonometry could have done the entire section B based on trigonometry. Besides for those two questions, question seven and question nine on trigonometry, there was a lovely question, question eight, on um, mainly statistics, but one the final part on probability. The most awkward question in section B was probably question 10, which was the other probability question, and I doubt if many would have chosen to do this question here. But all in all, people will be relieved now that the higher level maths is over and they'll be kind of very confident of having done well on paper too. Thanks very much.